EMD here. We are seeing very, very spikes in price of certain cars as soon as Pioneer was announced. Also, there is something very fishy because certain cards that will be stapled in Pioneer have been bought out few days before the announcement. That that's something very fishy and that means that there was some sort of inside information or inside trading. This is not good for the format if this really really happened but let's see which cards are spiking for Pioneer. I already talked about Jay's Vrim Protégé. This card is spiking heavily. We're seeing being trading it currently at the recording of this video at nearly $44. And you can see there is a big, big spike as soon after the announcement of the Pioneer format. If you don't know what Pioneer format is, basically it's a format, a new format in Magic the Gathering, which will use the cards from Return to Ravnica onwards or Return to Ravnica forward. That means that currently with the release, at the release of Throne of Eldraine, there are 6,556 cards to build a deck from. These cards I'm going to show you, these cards will be stable in these decks, the Pioneer decks, and you can see that the price is spiking heavily. Eaterworks Marvel is another card, very powerful card. This card was banned in standard at that time when it was standard legal. We're seeing another big spike in price. You can see here it's a flat line, then we see the spike. Currently being traded at around $10. If Pioneer became, becomes a very good format, I'm sure these cards and I'm sure other cards will see spike in prices. Sahili Ray, Sahili Ray is a very good planeswalker. This card and the with the Felidart card was banned, not, the, not Sahili Ray, but the Felidart. That combo is a very, very winning condition. And even Sahili Ray, we can see here a big spike in price to $15. So it had a very flat price of around $5 to $6. Then, as soon as Pioneer was announced, you see a big spike in price. But what is fishing is this particular area. You can see here that the card was quite flat, and then something happened, and the price was in the card was increasing in price. That is something finishy, fishy, and that means there was inside information, inside trading because of Pioneer format. Someone knew about the format, someone knew about the announcement, someone bought these cards so that he or she can do a profit later on after the format. Smuggler's Copter, this is another card also banned in standard at that time. We see here another spike in price immediately after the announcement. Currently being traded at around $8 and I'm sure, I'm sure, after the first tournament of Pioneer, we'll see more cards spiking in price. Dictro Time is another card, very good card, very strong card. We can see here another spike in price immediately. $7. Last but not least, Collected Company. This was a very strong card during standard it's still being played in modern and i'm sure it will see play in pioneer you can see here we've saw a decline in price this is obviously after the rotation when collected company was out of the rotation the price of the card was decreasing obviously only used in modern and then all all of a sudden we see an immense spike in price Obviously, after the Pioneer announcement, and we're seeing the card being traded at nearly $18, $17-$18. This is the effect of the announcement. Pioneer, Pioneer is a format, I think it will be a very successful format. We're talking that I'm sure this Pioneer format will target 
the new players, let's call them the new players, players that begin playing from return to Ravnica onwards, not old players that have been playing for years, that have been accustomed to modern, we're seeing players that have these cards, obviously from return to Ravnica to Throne of Eldraine, you don't, you don't build a full modern deck, but you can build a pioneer deck and you can play sanctioned tournament with those decks. <coughs> Pioneer, as I said, will see, and we will see more cards spiking in price because of Pioneer decks, and let's wait for the first tournament, let's see which decks will be successful top 8 in those tournaments, and let's see which cards from Return to Ravnica onwards will see an increase in price. You can leave me a comment below if there are more cards that you think will spike in price, if you are buying certain cards so that you can sell them later on when they spike in price, I'm sure there are investors targeting certain cards that will increase in price as soon as a tournament is won. And here, just a subscription button, subscribe for my channel for more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the collectible world.